Rising global populations present a clear problem to humanity's future. There are more mouths to feed than ever before. Now this doesn't seem like that big of a problem until you consider global warming. It is clear that global warming is real and will have major effects on the frequency of natural disasters, cause droughts, and raise sea levels. But climate change also impacts the global food supply. Farmers depend on stable weather in order to grow food and climate change disrupts this. Every year there are more and more crops being destroyed while growing populations mean more people need to eat. Initially, genetic engineering allowed plants to be more resistant and grow larger, which enabled more food to be produced on the same soil. However, genetic engineering is near its limits as it becomes harder to get the plants any more perfect than they already are. An international project called Realizing Increased Photosynthetic Efficiency, or RIPE, has worked on developing new photorespiration systems to increase crop production. RIPE worked to solve a genetic glitch that caused plants to grab an oxygen molecule instead of a carbon dioxide molecule. If a plant grabs an oxygen molecule, it will create a toxic compound that often kills the plant. To counteract this, plants evolved to expel these toxic compounds through photorespiration. The problem is that photorespiration uses a lot of energy that could be going into making the plant larger and producing more food. RIPE developed a chemical process to create a more efficient photorespiration method. In their paper, they show the process they use to create this more effective photorespiration method. To avoid hydrogen peroxide production, they replace certain molecules in order to re-genetically engineer the plants. After more testing on tobacco plants, they produced plants that could easily increase crop yields by about 40%. This will help produce the food desperately needed in the future of humanity, as well as helping feed the hungry populations that currently exist.